Today's programme is a particularly exciting addition, as in just a few minutes we'll be revealing a brand new vehicle, the Ford e-Transit. It's a packed show and there's lots to talk about, but first we'll take a moment to explore Ford's future plans for embracing a smarter, more sustainable future. Here to explain more about this vision, Ford's president and CEO, Jim Farley. Thanks, Johnny. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here. One of the reasons why I love Ford is because we're a family company that is passionate about helping other family companies succeed. We live for this. Their success is our success. And that goes for Bill Ford, me, and our thousands of employees and dealers around the world. On every corner, in every town and city around the world, Ford commercial vans and trucks bear the proud name of the businesses that make our communities run. Our local contractors, first responders, utilities, plumbers, bakers, florists, delivery companies who cover the last mile of commerce, and on and on, they make the world go. And today, we're entering a new era of commercial vehicles and the very future of work. Electrification, connectivity, over-the-air updates, and cloud-enabled services provide us the opportunity to better serve our customers and dramatically improve their productivity. Today, we look forward to showing you an all-new addition to our transit lineup, the Ford e-transit. We're taking the world's best-selling cargo van fully electric and zero emissions and is going to make doing business even smarter, easier, and more cost-effective for our customers. We are creating a whole new digital business of services and data to unlock an unlimited set of solutions for customers to help them reduce their costs, increase their uptime, improve their productivity, and grow their businesses. Now, we've all seen how this pandemic has changed the way companies do business. In the U.S. alone, e-commerce sales rose nearly 50% in the second quarter, and delivery vehicle demand rose with it. These trends are occurring even as cities around the world, from Los Angeles to London, are getting very serious about CO2 and air quality improvement. If we're going to do our part, we must transition commercial vehicles to zero emissions. And for us, it starts with the e-transit. This is the path we're on. Ford is totally committed to being carbon neutral by 2050. We're standing with California for higher standards, lower emissions, and cleaner air. And we're proud to support and live up to the Paris Agreement. Consider a small commercial fleet let's say one that includes eight to nine medium-sized vans. Collectively, they probably travel about 150,000 miles a year. Now, if we convert that small fleet, just one, from gas engine power to full electric, we save more than 118,000 pounds, or nearly 54,000 kilos of CO2 every year. That's equivalent of pulling the emissions of 200 flight hours of a commercial airliner out of the atmosphere. Now, this shift won't happen overnight, of course, but it illustrates that together we can create a better planet. We understand that you are obsessed about two things, cost of ownership and uptime. Now, the e-transit improves both. First, less maintenance on full EVs means lower cost. E-transit owners should save about 40% on operating costs tied to scheduled maintenance versus a gas-powered transit during each vehicle's lifetime. Customers should see more uptime too. E-Transit has significantly fewer parts than internal combustion-powered vans, nearly 90% fewer parts in its propulsion system alone, reducing the potential for expensive repairs. And of course, we're fully testing every e-transit to Ford's tough standards. Now, if things go wrong, 
we have your back because we have 1,800 commercial vehicle centers in the U.S. and transit centers scattered all over Europe. Now, newcomers in the space won't be able to deliver that kind of support until, well, maybe ever. Ford is determined to remain the best, most trusted name in commercial vehicles. We've sold more than 900,000 hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and all-electric vehicles to date globally. And we expect to be the first full-line automaker to market in North America a full-size electric pickup and an electric van. Plus, we know how to deliver that commercial vehicle with versatility, capability, payload, quality, uptime, and value you've come to depend on with transit. Now worldwide, Ford has produced more than 10 million transits alone. That's 55 years of hard-earned product excellence. It's a name you can trust, customer service you can trust, especially when you need it most. Commercial vehicles are part of who we are at Ford. We expect the global demand for full-size vans will grow another third by the end of this decade, including a potential market for more than 1.1 million full-size, fully electric, connected commercial vehicles worldwide. Most importantly, we're entering the services business in a meaningful way, launching loyalty building services that our customers will love and can't live without. All backed by upfitters and dealers you know and customer service you expect from the Ford name you trust. To tell you more, I'll hand it back to Johnny. Thanks, Jim. Some big ideas there. Let's find out how Ford arrived at this vision. Ford's approach to its commercial vehicles has been massively informed by its broad and diverse customer base, especially important as the industry moves forward into the world of electrification. Here to talk more about that, I'm joined in the studio by Usha Raghavachari. She's the lab director at D Ford London. Now look, you've got a very cool job title, uh, but I don't actually know what D Ford Lab is, so can you explain? <laughs> I can. So D Ford is our human-centered design team here inside Ford, and we exist to really deeply understand our customers' needs and problems, to anticipate big changes happening in the world around us, and to create new ideas that help our commercial customers thrive. So one of the big things we find is charging infrastructure and vehicle range is at the forefront of the minds of our customers. Let's take a look. A lot of people get hung up on infrastructure at their facilities, but as a majority of our drivers being home start, it's important to have some form of a charging uh, capability at your house. That's as important as a company's infrastructure plans at their facilities. So a, a route is gonna be, call it, you know, give or take 50 miles uh, on an average, and that's got quite a large uh, distribution from high to low on that average. Um, some of them are less than 10 miles a day when you're talking New York City. Whilst every business may be different, the way that their vans are set up across a fleet might not be. So how important is ensuring consistency between vehicles in terms of cargo space and upfitting? Let's take a look. When it comes to uh, upfitting in a uh, battery electric vehicle, it's, it's still very important for us that the space that we have dedicated right now um, remains there. As we've seen alternative vehicles be released throughout the years, that has really been the number one, is keeping the same upfit and not losing that, that cargo space. Okay, so if they're going to adapt and invest in huge amounts of EV uh, vans, it's got to kind of be the same as what they already know, just propelled by a different thing. Right, exactly. And we know a majority of our vans are actually upfitted. So it's a really critical area of, of concern and need from our customers. So then, then we come to managing the way that their vehicles are actually used. So how important is telematics and data to fleet management? Data is huge and, and effective management of data is non-trivial, especially when you're talking about a, a fleet as large as PepsiCo's. The big challenge for us in the, in the last couple of years has been 
hey, how do we go manage this data? Before it was, I have no data and I can just go do some average odometer readings and some other things like that. Now we've got this massive amount of data and some great partners in the telematics space, but how do I go extract it? That's gonna be the most important thing from a fleet management perspective as we move forward. Yes, we wanna know where our vehicles are located, but more importantly, we wanna know everything um, analytical, predictive, anything to do with operating our vehicle in a more efficient way, uh, eliminating downtime, increasing vehicle reliability. So very important to us. Right, exactly. And think about all that data coming in and finding the right bits of data that really help our customers to be more productive and efficient in the future. It's going to be super exciting. So really deeply understanding and observing the needs, the pain points and the challenges that our customers face informs our DFORD innovation process. Now this human-centered approach is absolutely central to our design and development process and it's exactly how we've approached the electrification of our commercial vehicles. Insightful stuff there, Usha, and thanks for that look behind the curtain at the work going on to put human beings at the centre of the process to design Ford's latest electric commercial vehicle. I'm now joined by Ted Canis, North American General Manager for Commercial Vehicles. Ted, thanks for joining us in the virtual studio. My pleasure, Johnny. So how have all the things customers told you about empowered your teams to come up with innovative solutions they'll appreciate? It fundamentally defines our strategy for all that we do and ultimately helps us to help them make their businesses thrive. Lower total cost of ownership is not just a buzzy phrase. It's a mantra our fleet customers live by in every decision they make, ensuring they are getting the best return on investment possible. So we knew whether it be addressing a fleet customer's vehicle acquisition, operation over time, and residual value, all had to be a part of developing the e-transit into a solution for the customer's bottom line. And transit electrification opens the door to groundbreaking new efficiencies, from usable driving range to ease of charging to the dependability and durability they expect from a built Ford Tough vehicle. We looked at a couple of these key use cases, and one of the big ones is rolling toolbox businesses like satellite TV network or cable installers or appliance repair services, HVAC technicians, glass installers, or utility companies. They're always on a schedule, running from job to job with customers waiting. So again, optimizing efficiency is key. Maximum uptime is critical. When they aren't on the road, they aren't making money. They want to spend less time having their vehicle serviced, maintained and repaired, particularly non-scheduled work, which can really damage reputation with their customers. And access to power is essential. Most use inverters or external power supplies. So the capability to use the power from an electric vehicle battery would be a real advantage so they can plug in tools anywhere. Everything is fit for purpose, so upfitting is really important too. They need racks and bins, partitions, subflooring, a pull-out shelving, or, or built-in tool chests to hold their equipment, tools, and consumables. So an all-electric transit needs to have the same interior mounting points and cargo capacity customers have come to expect in their current vehicle. And vehicles often need to travel home with employees as well, so easy home charging solutions with energy tracking for fleets to reimburse their drivers is of course essential. And these rolling toolboxes operate in and out of urban areas and congested city environments at all times of day and night. So the quiet electric powertrain along with access to areas with noise ordinances will be a real advantage. No one wants to be woken up by a droning gas engine. Electric vans can be running, but no one's any wiser. As well as depending on these tradespeople to continue working for us during the current conditions, we've all been thankful to the delivery companies for getting our online purchases to us on time. And I don't know about you, but the last time I checked, e-commerce is only going one way. In the current climate, we're all grateful to delivery companies keeping us stocked up with food and supplies at home or at work. We know their vehicles drive regular routes, short but intensive with lots of stopping and starting, often 200 plus times a day. 
And they're usually part of a large fleet based at a warehouse or a distribution depot, which would be ideal for efficient charging. And these vehicles have to be connected and tracked by their operators, possibly even geofence for maximum productivity, giving the fleet manager optimal control from his or her desk. And really, cargo capacity is just as important as payload for these fleets. Walkthrough access from the cab to the cargo area is critical, as well as easier movement across the cab to allow drivers to exit more safely. And some operators own bespoke bodies and move them from one vehicle to another, so they only want to design a body once for internal combustion engines and battery electric vehicles. So altogether, they need enough range for their daily route and they need efficient charging overnight. From all of these examples, you can see a picture emerging of the kinds of features we wanted to give these customers in our all new electric transit. Thanks, Ted. Let me stop you there. Now it's time to take a closer look at the vehicle itself, the all new, all electric, Ford e-Transit. The no compromise, customer focused, all electric Ford Transit from the wheels up. The Ford e-Transit is designed to meet all customer needs exactly like the ones we just talked about and more. Packed with new advanced technologies, bringing even more connectivity and productivity to businesses small or large. E-Transit will offer three body styles it has the first heavy-duty, independent rear suspension of any electric van in the U.S., specially designed with the rear-wheel drive for a smoother ride and more traction when the vehicle has increased payload, and a chassis strong enough for all of our customers' payload needs. We package the battery under the load floor and protect it with strong side beams in an insulated case. To discuss more details about the electric powertrain, Let's meet Yaro Hetman, Global Marketing Director for Electric Trucks, Vans, and Commercial Vehicles. So Yaro, how did we decide on the right range and battery capacity for the e-transit? Thanks, Ted. Well, it was directly informed by insights from our customers. We also leveraged our Ford Telematics data, analyzing more than 30 million miles of unique trips to understand that in the US, the average daily range for a commercial van is 74 miles. Of course, we also recognize that there are days when these range needs are higher and the customers will also need to adjust for factors such as cold weather and payload. We took all of this into account when designing e-transit and it was created with the targeted estimated range of up to 126 miles. Sounds impressive, but how do we know this vehicle is going to be truly built Ford tough and work as hard as our customers do? We've been testing e-transit in northern Michigan during the winter and in extreme heat in Arizona, Nevada, and California. Thanks, Yaro. It's crucial that our customers understand this vehicle has been through the same demanding testing regime as our other built Ford Tough commercial vehicles. And we also know battery technology is key to our customers. But before we go any further, let's reveal what the new e-transit actually looks like. Here it is, the new Ford E-Transit. The transit you know and love, but with everything under the skin improved, delivering zero emissions and supercharged solutions. You'll notice the new upper grille with a central charge port. Yaro, what's the story for charging? What kind of solutions will Ford be offering to fleets? That's a great question, Ted, and obviously one that we've heard a lot about from our customers. At Ford, we'll be offering an ecosystem of charging solutions to fit all charging needs of our customers. Whether at home, at your business solution, or on the road, we will have your needs covered. Fleets have told us overwhelmingly that they will want easy access to public charging, especially on an as-needed basis to maximize uptime. So we are providing simplified access to North America's largest public charging network, over 13,500 chargers, and of course, that includes access to the DC fast charging network for any of the occasional moments 
we need a quick boost. Many of our customers have told us that they would like to continue to have their employees take their work vans home at night. This is why we've made it easy to charge at home and to skip all those trips to the gas station. To ensure that e-transit customers will be ready for work the next morning, the standard Ford mobile charger will deliver up to 10 miles of range per charging hour when plugged into a 240 volt outlet. However, for those that need faster home charging, we will also offer the Ford connected charge station. It will provide up to 15 miles per charging hour and can charge the e-transit to 100% in eight hours, even if starting from a fully depleted battery. Thanks, and Yaro, can you tell us more about access to power on board? This is one that I'm actually very excited about. In a lot of the work we've done with customers, we understand that many of them install inverters into their current vans to power tools and equipment on the job site. So to put it in practical terms, if you're a food delivery company needing to keep produce refrigerated in between stops, or if you're a service engineer that needs to recharge tools in between job sites, ProPower Onboard unlocks the convenient productivity that lets you do more with your van without having to rely on external inverter outfits. So e-transit will be capable of up to 2.4 kilowatts of exportable power, which is enough to accommodate a variety of tools, making it a perfect companion on the job site. Thanks, Yaro. Now let's learn more about what e-transit can offer in terms of versatility and capability. Here to join us is Ray Isles, North American Chief Program Engineer. Thanks, Ted. As you said, e-transit is very configurable. What you can do with transit is really only limited by your imagination. And we work closely with our upfitters to deliver that. On the e-transit, there are eight body style configurations, including cargo van, chassis cab and cutaway versions with three roof heights and three body lengths. The cargo area is the same as the gasoline engine equivalent van, which means that e-transit offers uncompromised cargo capacity, perfect for package delivery companies where volume matters. And it is designed with the same easy access points and dimensions as its gasoline engine counterparts. So you can carry over your upfit with ease. The e-transit has also targeted a maximum payload of 3,800 pounds for the cargo van and up to 4,290 pounds for the chassis and cutaway versions. Excellent for utility companies wanting custom machines and equipment on the back. And we know this vehicle will operate at peak performance because we built it to be powerful and capable, rated at 266 horsepower and more than 300 pound-feet of torque. This is similar power and significantly more torque than the standard gasoline engine. Now let's hear more from Ted. Small, medium and large businesses need to stay connected to the world around them. Here to discuss this is Patricia Petrohedra, Global EV Digital Consumer Experience Manager. Hi, Ted. Thanks for having me. The e-transit is really taking over connectivity story to the next level. Can you tell us how? Sure. This is the smartest transit we've ever done by far. We have a standard 12 inch touchscreen that is the customer interface into the e-transit. We've taken our latest generation of the SYNC system, SYNC 4, which brings with it improved voice recognition, seamless device pairing, and more. The e-transit also offers built-in navigation, which can pop up charge locations near you where you're operating and give you real-time information about those charge stations capabilities and availability based on your battery need. Another great connected feature on the e-transit is our intelligent range, which factors in real-time conditions, the terrain and the elevation of a given route, traffic conditions, even the temperature at your final destination all this to provide a more accurate estimate of the vehicle's range. And we know this accuracy is important to fleet managers to help them plan better and maximize their uptime. And let's not forget the e-transit will of course come equipped with a powerful standard embedded modem with 4G LTE Wi-Fi for up to 10 devices. When activated, that modem unlocks substantial additional benefits, including over the air updates to your sync system, keeping your maps up to date, real-time information and enhancements to the driver assistance technologies. Thanks, Patricia. So we just learned how connected the vehicle is. 
but fleets need software solutions that integrate with this connectivity to really manage their fleets efficiently. We heard earlier how important vehicle data is to our customers, so Ford has created EV data solutions that complement e-transit to leave no stone unturned. Here today is Julius Marchwicki, Chief Operating Officer for Ford Commercial Solutions to discuss new features and EV data solutions. So, what's on the horizon for fleet managers to look forward to with our connected services? Up to now, we've provided telematics and data solutions to help businesses across North America improve their operations. But with e-transit, our portfolio of connected services expands significantly, focused on helping fleets get the most out of their new battery electric technology. We're adding simple and easy to use web and app interfaces to help fleets with energy and vehicle management. These tools allow fleet managers to remotely manage access to public charging for drivers and have vehicle level reporting to reimburse drivers for charging at home. Battery electric vehicle data will provide key insights and real-time access for fleet managers to monitor and control individual vehicles. For example, they may be alerted if a vehicle is not plugged in when it should be. The e-transit also includes innovative new connected fleet management features like the ability to remotely configure, manage and monitor vehicle state and off hours, such as receiving notifications if a vehicle is potentially being stolen or sustains damage in a parking lot. Our driver ID feature links vehicle data to the individual driver, so fleets get an accurate record of which driver is driving which vehicle. And real-time in-vehicle driver coaching can help improve driver performance using the Sync Voice Assistant. Thanks, Julius. A great overview of Ford Commercial Solutions and the connected services we'll be talking a lot more about over the next coming months. So now, we know eTransit is capable, fully connected, and has a variety of charge options. As you heard earlier, we have significantly enhanced the suite of driver assist technologies for safer and more efficient driving. We also have reverse brake assist, which is new for e-transit. It applies brakes while reversing when an object is detected. And linked to that is the new 360 degree cameras providing views from front, rear, and side of the vehicle. We've introduced a new rotary e-shifter, which replaces the gear lever, opening up more legroom around the steering area while keeping cup holders handy for fleet drivers. Plus, there's an electronic park brake on the instrument panel, freeing up space between seats and making it easier to walk through to access the cargo area. All of this boosts driver confidence and safety, and fewer accidents means more uptime and less cost to the business. Now, let's talk about servicing, maintenance, and repairs. To do that, let's introduce Ivan Boykin, General Manager, Commercial Vehicle Centers, North America. Ivan, the e-transit has one thing in particular that's missing, the engine. So what can our customers expect from the e-transit when it comes to the important question of servicing, maintenance, and repairs? Now, we're very much aware that some customers may have some concerns or trepidation about the new electrification technology. And that's precisely the reason why it was important for us to provide reassurance with an eight year, 100,000 mile warranty. Now, for times when vehicles do need service, Ford has over 600 dedicated commercial vehicle centers in North America who have service capability and parts availability for class one through seven trucks and vans. In addition, 92% of them are EV certified and counting. This on top of 2,200 retail dealers means Ford's got fleet customers and small businesses covered. So our dealers are absolutely essential to supporting our customers with e-transit. And we're really leaning into the capabilities to service fleets that operate across multiple states through the owner operators that keep our country moving. Thanks, Ivan. We know service is very important to our customers. And I'm very happy to announce that e-transit will be built Ford Proud right here in the United States at our Kansas City Assembly Plant in Clackamo, Missouri adhering to the same quality and standards you expect from a transit, America's best-selling van. Now, let me hand it back to Johnny.
And there we have it, the new all-electric e-transit. And now for a few final thoughts on what we've just seen, I'd like to hand over once again to Ford's president and CEO, Jim Farley. Well, we've shown you today what makes Ford different. Operating with a purpose and at scale to serve millions of businesses and through them, make the world a better place. It's about making zero emissions accessible to millions across our iconic nameplates, Mustang and for the US, a fully electric F-150. And crucially, now the e-transit will deliver zero emissions to business globally, which can have a huge impact on their bottom line and cost of ownership. All supported by a range of human and business-centric design features. Connected to a digital ecosystem that provides a range of services to deliver actionable and predictive data that enable businesses to achieve what they want, 100% uptime. A new era of sustainable progress starts here today. This is the all new Ford E-Transit. Introducing the Ford E-Transit. It works as hard as ever. It may look the same, but E-Transit is new underneath. It's all electric, getting the job done, taking you places others can't with optimized zero emissions driving range for service and delivery jobs. It powers your work wherever you are. With the available cargo capacity of transit today and familiar mounting points to seamlessly carry over your racks, shelves, and other conversions, Ford's global army of upfitters are ready to go. How tough is it? We are testing the equivalent of 150,000 miles and 10 years in our labs, proving grounds, and the real world. It's engineered for uptime and supported by a global network of established Ford dealers who are built for business. E-Transit is smarter than ever and connected to Ford commercial solutions to maximize uptime and improve fleet management keeping hard-working businesses moving forward. Working hard for business when it matters most. That's what Ford has done for decades. Now, Ford is on a mission to do it more sustainably, becoming carbon neutral by 2050. If all transit sold just last year were fully electric, there would be 30 million metric tons less CO2 in the world. That's 30 million passengers flying London to New York and back. Delivering the world's goods and services with zero emissions on a scale that really matters? It starts now. Leading the charge, this is the Ford E-Transit.